Game of Thrones season five, episode number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to the season premiere for season five of Game of Thrones, man. We obviously finished, well, I finished season four last week. She watched it yesterday, actually. What'd you think about the finale? All the shit that happened? So much happened, it was crazy. <laughs> did you did you expect Tyrion to, to no, kill I Shay think... or his dad? Wow, I was shook, I was so shook. I didn't expect that. That episode was I crazy. It. <laughs> Lot, lots of crazy shit happened, but it's like one episode. It, it, I don't know. For the most part, whenever there's a crazy ass Game of Thrones episode, I normally feel like we end it feeling sad or like fucked up. But that episode, a lot of fucked up shit happened. Yeah, I love the ending with um, Arya. Arya. She finally got to use um, the coin. Yeah. So it was so cool to see that. To go to Bravos. That, yeah. that story, I feel like, is setting her up to have a crazy ass, like, to take her story arc to the next level. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, at the start, we seen her. She was just like a little girl, a little kid, wanting to, you know, be a sword fighter or whatever and not be like, you know, a lady during these times. And then now we see her grow up more and more, you know, travel with the hound and stuff, learn to sword fight, and she's finally gonna go to Bravos now. I hope she sees. I hope she sees um, Jacken. Jacken and 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 maybe yeah. Serial again. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's gonna be crazy. I think season five is gonna be dope. A lot of people talk shit about you know Game of Thrones post season four, but I feel like people always hate on stuff just to hate on it, and it's it's never. It was pretty good. I, I'm just happy Tyrion didn't die. Tyrion, yeah. Tyrion. I know, I hope he doesn't, well, I mean, the only thing that sucks is now it's like, he really can't come back to King's Landing, because at this point, he really did kill someone, you know, yeah. so it's like, <laughs> is he ever going to be able to return to King's Landing, is he ever going to see Jamie again, I don't know, but I'm excited to see what season 5 has in store for us, we're actually currently binging, so we're about to watch the first, like, first 5 episodes of season 5 over the next, today and tomorrow, so... We're going to get a lot of information these next few days, but I'm excited for it, guys. So we're going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, we do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you guys want to see next man. Jump a like on the video for us. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Play. Oh, yeah. So back to the, the, the Aria with Bravos thing. So I don't think I've ever said this on camera or told you about this, really, but... I don't know, because I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's going to make me sound stupid or if this is some five-head shit, but... So, you know how... So, obviously, we think Serial's dead. The last time we saw him, you know, kind of left off-screen a bunch of people going toward him, kind of indicating he was about to die. And Arya thinks he's dead, too. But then when we met Jacken, I don't know, him and Arya seemed to have a, a type of connection. He seemed to like her from the start. And then the last time he saw her... He showed us that he can like literally change the appearance of his face completely. So what if they're all the same people? I feel like Jacken and Serio might be the same people. The only thing is Serio has obviously a different body type build. He's a lot shorter and stockier than Jacken was. I think Jacken was kind of taller and more skinny, but I don't know. I feel like maybe they could be the same person. Maybe, maybe I'm just completely wrong, but I don't think so because it, it, the way that Arya met him met Jacken, Jacken. Yeah. yeah when he was caged up I know that's what I was thinking too but I don't know I, I, I like throwing shit out there just in case it's a possibility so that I can say I caught it <laughs> but all in due time we shall see I think that's what I'm most excited for this season to see what she does in Bravos because I feel like she's about to go next level you're boring <laughs> you don't know what I am I know you're a witch and you can see the future. Tell me mine. Everyone wants to know their future. Until they know their future. This is my father's <laughs> land. My land. Tell me my future or I'll have your two boring eyes gouged out of your head. Doesn't she look like she could be like the um, young version of the witch that killed Drago? She kind of looks like her to me, I don't know. <laughs> She kind of does. It's been a long time, but I actually do remember her if looking like that kind of. This could be a flashback too. Oh yeah, this could be. And she looks like Cersei. Maybe this is a flashback. Maybe you're right. But I will be queen. Oh yes. I think you're right. I'll be queen. For a time. And comes another. Younger. 
more beautiful to cast you down and take all you hold dear. Mm. Will the king and I have children? No. The king will have 20 children. And you will have three. Because she has... She has children. Well, that's Robert. <laughs> um, she had, I think because Cersei has Tommen, she had Joffrey, and then she has her daughter, right? So that is Cersei. It is Cersei. <laughs> she always been a bitch. We must be picking up right after season four. No big time jump or anything. This must be Tywin's kind of goodbye, his funeral. The other queen she was talking about was probably her. Um, Marjorie. I was thinking it was Daenerys. <laughs> Maybe her too. Maybe both. Shit. I'm waiting in line to make sure he's really dead. And as soon as they see the stones on his eyes, they'll set to work on tearing us apart. They have nothing to do with it. Mm. The man who murdered our father, he tore us apart. He's the enemy. I've been telling you for years. You've been defending him for this years. Is exactly what they want. And now our father is dead. Well, you guys treated like him like shit for years. Tyrion may be a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. Mm. He killed him by mistake. A stupidity. You're a man of action, aren't you? When it occurs to you to do something, you do it. Never mind the consequences. She always got to make people feel worse and put blame on somebody. I don't know. If she never would have said it was Tyrion, I feel... I, I don't know. I'm just glad it wasn't him, Tyrion. Yeah, I know. I'm glad he's not dead. I don't know. It's just like I, like I can understand from her point of view why she would think it was Tyrion, but it's damn near impossible for it to have been Tyrion. Not only that, but it'd just be stupid for him to do it. I don't know. Cersei, fuck you. Oh, yeah, she knows. I think she, she hates Tyrion so much and wants him dead so much that she really does just believe it's him in Sansa. I mean, I get, like, evidence does point to Tyrion, kind of, but, like, evidence points to every other person that Joffrey tortured and fucked with, and you know what I mean? My man. He lives another season. Or episode. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> My man got a full beard, too. A group of people who saw Robert Baratheon for the disaster he was. We tried to do what was best for the realm by supporting the Targaryen restoration. Hmm. And thus began the chain of mistakes that has led us both here. Westeros needs to be saved from itself. Ferris is all about saving the realm. I hope... Oh my god. I hope Tyrion's character doesn't take a downhill turn. And he just like kind of... Becomes useless and it just... I mean, he's always drank, but you know, just the useless drunk on the show. I hope he doesn't become like that. You know? I really hope. Cause I love Tyrion's character, man. I hope they don't change him or anything after all this. I, I mean, I hope him and Va it, obviously it seems like that's what's kind of going on. Him and Varys are kind of teaming up, but I hope they actually, you know, team up, team up, and work together for for a while and like genuinely work together, not one person double crossing the other, vice versa. You know. I wonder what's going on with Sansa and them. They haven't showed her with Peter. Yeah, it's been like what since episode eight. Because she wasn't shown in episode 9 during the war and she wasn't shown in the finale either. Hey, it has been like three episodes. I feel like they got to show her this episode. I hope they show Arya too. I, I want to see her go to Bravos and I want to see her reunite with, with one of them. Is this Grey Worm? Did they recast him? Or is this just a different soldier? It looks just like Grey Worm, but like a knockoff Grey Worm. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck is that thing? Sons of the Harpy. Yes, Your Grace. They left it on the body. They've never killed before. It was only a matter of time, Your Grace. Conquerors always meet with resistance. It wasn't Grey Worm, okay. I want him buried with honor. White Rat? Publicly. In the Temple of the Graces. The Sons of the Harpy will hear that message. Make them very angry. Angry snakes lash out. Makes chopping off their heads that much easier. Mm, it's trying to draw them out. White Rat really is Grey Worm 2.0. They look so much alike. He just, White Rat just looks more buff than him and bigger. Mm -hmm. But his facial structure looks very similar. I wanted to speak with you. 
<laughs> you know he's been talking to his boys. <laughs> Why would an unsullied go to a brothel? I do not know. Yeah, because they're, uh, they're supposed to get their stuff chopped off when they <laughs> become unsullied, huh? Get your shield up. It's too heavy. If it wasn't heavy, it wouldn't stop a sword. Now, get it up. He's the one who killed Egret, huh? Remember when the free folk first came over the wall and they invaded that village and killed people? He's the kid that they let go free. Oh. And she, she, she's the one who killed his dad. Um, Egret killed his oh, dad, so it was yeah. kind of like revenge. Oh, dang. Full circle. Dennis Malister has commanded the Shadow Tower for 20 years, and people say he's a good man. He's running against Sir Alice. Sam, don't let them send us away. I told you. Wherever you go, I go too. You can't leave, they'll execute you. I mean, Sam can try, but it's not really his choice if you get sent away or not. She's not cold. Guess not, shit. She got that fire. She said the Lord's fire. <laughs> We still haven't got back to Gentry either. <laughs> the motherfucker's still rowing the boat. Some of the Night's Watch feel you have too much affection for the wildlings. We were born on the wrong side of the wall. Doesn't make them monsters. I shall take back the North from the thieves who stole it. Time when Lannister is dead, he can't protect them now. Mm. I shall mount Bruce Bolton's head on a spike. But if I'm to take Winterfell, I need more men. I'm Team Stannis now. Talking about the damn Night's Watch. Talking about the wildlings. Mm. Wow. That's his plan for Mance Raider. Wow, that's actually kind of good. I mean, if he can get him to cooperate, that's good. That's a lot of men. I swear to follow me, I'll pardon them. We'll take Winterfell once the North is won. I'll declare them citizens of the realm. Mm. Give them land to live on. Damn. It's a fair offer. That is. More than fair. Wow. He's never going to kneel. It beats him to bend the knee. Christ. Or he burns. Damn. Join the army and be free, or you die. Wow. Attack, my lord. This motherfucker. Attack. What a Don't joke. Cross your face. Lord Aaron. A warrior. <laughs> motherfucker can barely walk without hurting himself. You swore to find the Stark girls. I found Arya. She didn't want my protection. Sons are still mine. Will you shut your mouth? I didn't ask for your advice. Mm. She's hurting, man. She's mad. I'm not a leader. All I ever wanted was to fight for a lord I believed in. The good lords are dead and the rest are monsters. Mm. She'll never fight for Stannis, probably. <laughs> oh. She spent all that time trying to find the Stark girls and then she found one and they didn't want to be found. Going to the wow. <laughs> I did. What the <laughs> fuck? Everyone's always so close to each other and they don't even know it. So where are we going? To a land where you trust everyone. To a land so far from here, even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. Mm. Yeah, there ain't no way in hell Brienne's ever gonna find Arya now that she's gone to Braavos. And I mean, sounds like Peter's taken Sansa far away too. So. Mm -hmm. Just being in his presence was enough to make it so clear just how formidable a person you were dealing with. What a what a force to be reckoned with. She's like, I don't have to marry you anymore. Shut up. <laughs> I wonder if he thinks they're still getting married. Because <laughs> now that Tywin's dead, you know for sure she ain't. Mm -hmm. Cousin Lancel, I hardly recognized you. My deepest sympathies. It's her cousin? I apologize for my son's appearance. They call themselves sparrows. <laughs> Bloody fanatics. Sparrows? Religion has its place, of course. But at a certain point. There was the king. His boar hunt. His wine. I don't know what you're talking about. He, he, he was talking about stuff that had happened in the past. He said there was the king, the boar, the boar hunt and the wine. Robert died during the hunt. And there was talk about how something else had happened. Did they, like, drug him? Or do something to his wine which made him die easier to the boar? Maybe poison him? She doesn't go to Highgarden. Which means she stays in King's Landing. Which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister as your mother by law. Yep. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. She's wrapping Tommen around her finger already. 
<laughs> She's like, I'm already working on that plan. You risked your life, your position, everything. Why? You're, you're not family. You owe me nothing. I didn't do it for you. I did it for the Seven Kingdoms. I did it for the realm. The land where the powerful do not prey on the powerless. Where the castles are made of gingerbread and the moats are filled with blackberry wine. The powerful <laughs> have always preyed on the powerless. That's how they became powerful in the first place. Perhaps. Perhaps we've grown so used to horror. We assume there's no other way. Yes, my man Varys. The Seven Kingdoms need someone stronger than Tommen, but gentler than Stannis. A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Talking about Daenerys, because he supported. He, su he supported the Targaryens. He said that earlier. If you can ride with me to Marine. Meet Daenerys Targaryen and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Damn. Can I drink myself to death on the road to Marine? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. I was like, where are they going to go? I was like, the only other people they could really join would be Daenerys. You said it. But I was like, I, in my head, I'm like a Lannister with Daenerys? No fucking way. They ask for the reopening of the fighting pits. Mm. The fighting pits, where slaves fought slaves to the death. In the new world that you've brought to us, free men would fight free men. The pit fighters you liberated plead for this opportunity. Bring some here and ask them yourself. No fighting pits. Opening them would show the people of Yunkai and Meereen that you respect their tradition. I get it, but it's like you gotta... You need some give and take for the people, you know? You were sold into slavery. Forced to fight to the death for the amusement of the masters, and you're defending the fighting pits. But he liked it. And there's people that like I'm to fight. Here because of those pits. I learned to fight like a Dothraki screamer, a Norvoshi priest, a Westerosi knight. Soon I was famous. 10,000 men and women screamed my name when I stepped into the pit. It's kind of like equivalent to the UFC nowadays. Stuff like that. But I mean, I'm sure these fighting pits, they fight like to the death. Can't control them anymore. Dragon queen with no dragons. It's not a queen. She gotta learn to control them. Some way, somehow. I don't know how the fuck you're gonna control dragons, but shit. She gotta see. There's gotta be a way. Yeah, for sure. Cause she, I mean, she has that connection to him too, obviously. But she gotta see this from their point of view too. I mean, there's people out there that love to fight. You know, whether they die or not, that's their choice. As long as they're not being forced to do it, there shouldn't be a problem opening the fighting pits. <laughs> Fuck, I was writing their names down. They're big? Are they bigger than they were when she chained them up even? Viserion and Rhaegal? Was that their names? You can't be scared! They could have killed her, but they chose not to. You know what I mean? They they did it next to her. They're like, hey! You are mom, but bitch! I'm a dragon! Let me free! <laughs> oh... You think Mance is gonna join him? I feel like he's gonna. He can't let all his people die. He told me you weren't here to conquer. He told me your people are bled enough. That's right. I don't want them bleeding for Stannis Baratheon either. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to die. I'm burnt to death. I don't want people to remember me like that, scorched and screaming. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. But if you can't understand why I won't enlist my people in a foreigner's war, there's no point explaining. I get why, but like you're sentencing them to death basically either way. At least this way you have a chance for freedom and your own land. You're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> the freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. I respect Mance, but shit. I get why he doesn't want his people to, he doesn't want his people to keep dying and shit like that, but it's literally like have a chance to survive, get your own land finally on this side of the wall and all that shit, or just die. You know what I mean? I don't want Mance to die. I kind of like, the more we get to know him, the more I like him, you know? I feel like he could be, if he sticks around, he could be a character that I, I really, really like. been called the king beyond the wall. Westeros only has one king. This was my own. For many years. He was a brother of the I Night's Watch before. Fortune. 
in the wars to come. Sometimes I forget he used to be part of the Night's Watch, you know? Said that back when they first introduced him. You know after this though, his people are never gonna fight with Stannis. Like, they might act like they are, but the second they get a chance, they're gonna turn their back on him. Like this did fuck. He was close with Mance too. That's so sad. John did it. John had respect for him, man. It's like he told Stannis at first, his dad wouldn't have executed him. He would have taken him as prisoner. You know? Game of Thrones season five, episode one. Is in the books. Fuck. The more, like, we got to learn about Mance, the more I liked his character, you know? I don't know. I felt like he's he's just, he, he was different than all these other characters we've been introduced to. You know, he's different than Stannis. He's different than Robert. He almost, he, he reminds me of Ned almost a little yeah. bit, you know? Super honorable and stuff like that. Like, he really cared about his people. Like, he, he didn't want to fight. He offered that truce to Jon and everything like that. Like, you had a chance here to save your people and save yourself but i get it you know it's it's his beliefs he doesn't want to turn his back on his beliefs it's not even about pride necessarily you know but it just sucks man i get why stannis had to do what he had to do too you know he he, he can't look weak in front of people you know he 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 wants their leader to bow to him so he can get their respect quote unquote but I don't know. It just sucks. I guess the situation. I like. I understand why it had to happen and everything, but I just. I, I'm upset about it. I liked Mance. I felt like he was cool. He he brought John into their group. You know, he he used to be a Night's Watch member, and now he's gone. I felt like I don't know. I felt like he could have made a real difference in the show too. Mm -hmm. Man, that sucks so much. But what an episode, man! Game of Thrones season five, episode one. What a way to kick it off. We didn't get anything from Arya yet in Bravos. We finally got back to Sansa and Peter and got to see what they're doing. You know, it seems like Peter's trying to take her as far away as possible. Which kind of leads, le leaves the question of like, what are Brienne and Podrick going to do? I get they, it's so crazy how, how often people are so close in this fucking show. They were literally within a hundred feet of each other. It, Podrick literally looked up at the carriage, mm -hmm. but obviously you can't see inside of it. You know, but like, holy hell, they were that close. Yeah, they might get separated now, you think. Brienne and Podrick? They, shouldn't. they should just stay together. Brienne and Podrick? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like ever since the start, she's she hasn't wanted him there, but he keeps trying and trying. I feel like, I don't know. I, I think she's just down right now because think about it. Like, ever since, ever since Renly died, ever since she basically went under the command of uh, and swore, swore an oath to Catelyn, which was what, in season two? She's been... Her basically mission has been to find the Stark girls. Mm -hmm. She finally finds Arya. Arya basically says, fuck no, I don't want to go with you. <laughs> then she has to fight the fucking Hound, which... I mean, the Hound was injured, which is why she won. But she has to fight the fucking Hound. And then now she still doesn't know where Sans is. So she found a Stark girl after months and months and months. And then she just didn't want to go with her. And then she's like... It took her that long to find one and to find out she didn't even want to go with her. Think about how long she probably thinks it's going to take her to find Sansa. And then what's going to happen when she finds Sansa? Like, Sansa's not going to want to go with her. Just like, it's just like the Hound told her, like, where is safe? She can't go to King's Landing. Lord Bolton's ruling the North. You know, her brothers all are pretty much dead. She, she, she can't really go to the Wall because she's a female. Like, where the fuck is safe? Just like the Hound said. And I think all that shit's just setting in for Brienne. So she's kind of like fed up with everything. You know? So sad. Yeah, I feel for her, but I don't know. I hope they do stay together, too, because Podrick, mm -hmm. you know, I fuck with Podrick, but he, he I don't think he survive out there on his own, you know? He, he, ain't no, he, he ain't no crazy fighter. I know he's safe Tyrion at Blackwater and shit like that. He can defend himself, but if he runs into somebody who's good with a sword and they want to take him out, you know what I mean? Somebody recognizes him, like, hey, that's Tyrion's... Um, that's Tyrion's guy. Let's fuck with him, you know. And we haven't seen Bronn in a while either. When was the last time we saw Bronn? Episode seven or ep the the episode where Tyrion asked him to uh, fight for him. I think that was the last time we seen Bronn. Now that Tyrion's gone, we probably won't see Bronn for a while either. He might just be gone. But we know he got he, he was getting set up with his own uh, kind of place. Um, but I enjoyed the episode. I'm kind of curious if uh, Stannis is gonna have any repercussions for Jon for killing 
Mance Raider like that, the Red Witch is gonna be like, hey, the, the fire was supposed to take him, it didn't take him, you know, but dope episode. I'm excited to see, you know, how season five continues. I think it's off to a good start. I enjoyed it. Again, I'm pretty fucking surprised. Var like Varys, I can see going to Daenerys, but it's gonna be so weird seeing a fucking Lannister with a Targaryen yeah, working I together. See what happens. Yeah, and then not only it's that, sad. like, I think I I don't know if I said it this reaction or if I called it or what, but I, I was thinking like, where the fuck are they gonna go? You know, like they can't really go anywhere. They can't go back to Westeros. They can't go to King's Landing, which is where both of them belong in the political shit. So I was thinking maybe they would go over and join Daenerys, but I just I. <laughs> Tyrion helping <laughs> Daenerys and Varys too like that's so weird and not only that but Varys is the one Jorah reported all his shit to because you know Varys has his birds everywhere and George Sir Jorah just got kicked out you know so like Varys pulls up he's like hey what's good you know what I mean she's gonna be like fuck no get the fuck out of here you know what I mean and if he lies I mean I'm sure well Sir Barristan knows who he is he knows who he is and who Tyrion is so I don't know how that's gonna go when they finally do meet her, but I, I'm very, I'm excited to see I'm that excited, interaction. But, uh, hopefully, it's not so far away. Yeah. Well, the thing is too, like, I feel like Varys is so calm and well spoken, and like, so, like you talk to him and you just feel like anytime he's talking to somebody in the show, it's not like when mm -hmm. someone else is talking, you're like, damn, I feel threatened or something like that. Like, I feel like Varys is very good at keeping the conversation from going sideways and just everybody breaking out and killing each other, you know? Like, Varys is always a very calm, cool, collected person, and then Tyrion's Tyrion. He's, nobody feels threatened by Tyrion, <laughs> I'm sure, you know? But this season's gonna be very interesting, man. I'm excited to see what we have in store. We are gonna continue checking this out. Like I said, we are bulk recording right now, so we're going on a little binge. Let us know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, us, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access in the next two episodes. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. We hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie Silas Kane and shout out to the homie That's So Gordo. I appreciate you guys for supporting me at my highest tier over on Patreon. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, the link is in the description down below as well as on screen right now. You get access to full length reactions, early access, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Come over, join the family. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.